Okay, so I just want to pop in and, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, I'm just like in a filming mood today and I'm just trying to be more mindful in my life about when I'm lit up to go for it. So I'm trying to stop being so like methodical and rigid and see where that takes me. Um, if you're familiar with human design, um, there's five types and I'm a manifesting generator and um, one of the things that I guess is suggested for my type is to follow what lights you up and to let go of things when they stop letting you, when they stop lighting you up without guilt. So that's been just kind of an insane thing for me to kind of dabble in because I've always felt really guilty when I don't uh, finish things or follow through on things that I've started. So it's a whole shift for me and it's been fun to experiment. Uh, if you are curious about your type, you can go to Jenna Zoe's website um, and she has a really good um, chart that will come up and it might be kind of confusing at first, um, but just focus on like your type. So there's a manifesting generator, generator, um, manifester, reflector, and projector. And then you can dive into the next layer, next layer. Like I, I only know the tip of the iceberg and I've been kind of being mindful of it for a little while, but, uh, yeah. So that's that spiel. Uh, the reason I got on here was to tell you guys how much I love Kelly Levesque and her body love books. So this is the second book, Body Love Every Day. Um, and the reason why I love her books and her information is because she focuses on blood sugar balance through the fab four at every meal. So fat, fiber, protein, and greens. And she has plans to follow in her book, um, and also recipes. Um, and a big part of what she, let's see what she preaches. I, mean, I don't feel like she preaches, but smoothies for breakfast. So a fab four smoothie. Um, so she has all kinds of amazing smoothie recipes in here. And I, uh, I guess the best way to describe it is they're just like the best smoothies I've ever had in taste and also they keep me full and satisfied for a very long time so i'm super impressed um she also has a protein powder which it's the best protein powder i've ever tasted that and then truvani so truvani is plant-based um which is yummy but i also have recently heard actually in kelly levesque's book um there can be heavy metals in plant-based proteins so I try to like mix it up. But anyways, Kelly Levex is a beef protein isolate. Sorry, I'm fidgeting. A beef protein isolate. And um, I think that has been really, really good for me. I, in the past, have kind of avoided a lot of meat just because I didn't think that my body did well on it. Um, but I've discovered eating this way that I think it's nourishing my body. Um, and I just feel really good about it. And then, so her proteins only have three ingredients. The chocolate is the beef protein isolate, the, it has cocoa, and then it's sweetened with monk fruit sweetener, which I just love. So like there's no, no added sugar. And then the vanilla is the protein isolate, vanilla bean, and monk fruit sweetener. So anyways, um, I got these books and I kind of dabbled like with different recipes in the books while I was still doing whatever I was doing before, which was like, I don't know, eating a bunch of fruit like by itself and then feeling really bloated. Um, yeah, I was bloated like a lot and I had really low energy. Um, I craved sugar like all the time. Um, yeah, so then I started, she has in this book, she has a 21 day plans you can follow. And so let's see. Justin, my husband, has been doing it with me, but um, I guess we just finished three weeks, and uh, it's been amazing. Like, it has been absolutely amazing. I just, I can't, I cannot express it enough, like, how good we both feel, and so we're three weeks in, but we're only on day, let's see, 
we are on day 15 of the actual plan. And how that has happened is through, we've had like some leftover days. So where we have food build up and I was like, okay, we need to, we need to pause before making new stuff and finish the leftovers. So um, that's what we're doing. I don't have plans of stopping because it feels so good. So I think once we get to the end of the 21 days, like I will probably either start over or just pick out our own recipes. So what I did to make it kind of simple is I just wrote down like all the different days and I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then to, so what she has, so like on day 10, it's um, chocolate almond butter crunch. And then I wrote down the page number. So it's really easy for me to reference back in the book. And then lunch, ribbon, rainbow salad, um, add chicken. And then uh, dinner is coconut cauliflower rice chicken. Um, yeah, so that's how I've done it. And then to simplify it even more, I will, let's see, I have my grocery list over here. Um, and I organize it by, in like four columns, produce aisle, cold, frozen. And I will just do three days of the plan at a time, go through those recipes, and then write down what I need. And this is me reusing a page. So I like, I'll go to the grocery store either tonight or early in the morning. And so for the next three days, we've got this, this, and this little bit. So I don't know. I just feel like it's very manageable and you're going to the store um, about two times a week, which I was doing anyways. And yeah. So I'm trying to think, what else can I tell you? It's really cool because she has four different archetypes in the book. So depending on how much time you have, depending on if you eat meat, if you don't eat meat, she has something that'll kind of work for everyone. So um, she has a girl on the go. So very quick plan, quick meals. Um, a uh, domestic goddess. So the more like, I say more intense, but the stuff that takes a little bit longer, but it's still seems very simple in comparison to like a lot of the recipes I used to just randomly pick off of Pinterest. So that's been great. And then a plant-based devotee. So as I'm sure you can tell, plant-based recipes. And then the fourth one is red carpet ready. And that's the plan that Justin and I have been following. And the reason I chose that one is just because it was very simply laid out. Um, so yeah, that is that. So since we've started, I went from taking long naps in the middle of the day to not taking naps, like hardly ever, which is, it's insane. Like it is insane. So I think I needed more protein and the protein and fat, the fiber and greens, stabilizing my blood sugar and I'm not crashing and feeling like I need to go to sleep or craving that sugar uh, an excessive amount um, and then also oh I just feel stronger so I was doing Sculpt Society workouts I guess earlier in quarantine um, during the pandemic and uh, I had to stop because I just I was sore for so long and instead of feeling energized after working out I was feeling like beat down and I know that's like not the way you're supposed to feel like you are. So, I mean, sure, you can feel tired, you can feel sore, but um, there's just like, you know, there's a difference, I'm sure, um, that you felt it yourself. And so I had to just like really step it back. And I did so for months and I just walked. Um, and then finally, I, it wasn't until I started experimenting with some of her recipes um, did I feel like I wanted to come back to Sculpt Society workouts? And since we started this program, so three weeks ago, I also started up Sculpt Society five days a week and it is insane. Like I actually feel energized after my workouts. I will get sore, but not in the way I did before. It won't last for days. Like I can walk, um, and I'm doing the same stuff. So kind of blows my mind, but at the same time, like it makes sense. Um, I've just learned so much about my body and how to nourish myself and that's been really empowering. So yes, I guess another big thing is she, so in addition to fat, fiber, protein, and greens, she limits fruit because fruit is, yes, it's fruit sugar, 
but it can still make your blood sugar um, go up and then cause you to crash later. So she recommends like a quarter to a half a cup per day. And in a lot of her smoothies, there's no fruit, which I thought they were gonna be disgusting. But if you have a good protein powder, they're amazing. And my mind is like still blown how yummy they are. And then she also has fruit ones and those will just be a quarter to a half a cup depending on what kind of fruit. Um, and they're also good. And there's so many options. Like, let me, well here. Let me just read you some of the flavors. So raspberry lemonade, sweet savory basil, which, okay, that's one of the ones that I was like, I would have never tried that on my own, sounded gross, but it was delicious. It's vanilla protein powder with tahini and basil and some other things. Um, super green machine, carrot cake smoothie, which it's to die for. It literally tastes like a carrot cake. I know I probably seem dramatic and like it's too good to be true, but you don't know until you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, get yourself a good protein powder if you're going to embark on this journey and I think you will be really pleased. Um, original green, triple chocolate crunch, ginger lemonade, um, cookies and cream. Yeah, so anyways, that's just, just some of the things. And then let me read you, I guess, some of the lunches. Thai salad with spicy cashew dressing, vegan hand rolls, um, farmer's market frittata, spicy salmon burrito, green goddess salad, Greek chicken salad, wild fish boats, and then some of the dinners. Um, chicken piccata with asparagus, steamed fish and veggies. And that did not sound impressive to me, but she has like two sauces, so you can make like a lemon butter sauce or it's like a curry in a hurry sauce, I think. And we made the lemon butter and it was really good. I never thought that I would like steamed fish that much, but um, I was impressed. And then a Mexican chicken vegetable soup, Korean barbecue steak with spicy bok choy, buttery lime cod with slaw. Anyways, those are just like some of the things. So yeah, I just wanted to get on here and share my experience. Um, and then my husband, he, he's really sweet, but he's also not one to like blow wind up my skirt. So it day two, he's like, I'm already feeling so much better. He's like, I feel smart again. So he noticed like cognitive differences, which I noticed as well. Like I'm able to concentrate better um, and focus better. And yeah, he just feels stronger and it's amazing the variety that we've gotten in our diet. So it is when you're following this kind of plan, like you could double this and make more servings and have leftovers, but a lot of these like make just what you need. Um, and that's been a cool thing to experiment with because I feel like we're getting like all the colors of the rainbow and just all the different things. And that's just been it's been, I'm sure, really good for our bodies, but I feel like it has lit me up. Like, I just get so excited trying the different things. So that has been really cool. But anyways, uh, yeah, that is my little share. Um, yeah, I love Kelly Lebeck. <laughs> um, you can follow her on Instagram if you're interested in learning more. Um, she shares a lot of good things on there, good information, um, sometimes recipes. So yeah, thanks for listening. And if you have any experience with Kelly Levesque, uh, the Fab Four, and you want to share uh, with me or with anyone in the comments, that would be cool. I just love hearing how, I don't know, how others like nourish themselves and what makes you feel good. Um, and if you have any questions for me, <laughs> I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, <laughs> I hope you have an amazing day.